Alright guys, welcome back to day three, and yes, I have a pile of sunscreen on my nose. You don't gotta point it out. I already know, because my nose got absolutely fried yesterday, and I'm not trying to get skin cancer by the time I'm uh, 30 years old. So what we're starting out today, we're in this beautiful gin blue clear water, and we got one plane or not set up. We're gonna do uh, two flat lines on the trolling gear. We're gonna see if we can try to catch some dolphin maybe, tunas, kudas, who knows. We're just exploring. So what we're actually doing is we got uh, all of our hits on that planer rod in that corner over there. And the planer and trolling isn't the most exciting type of fishing, but it's very, very effective and it's good when you're um, trying to get everyone in on the action and get a lot of people in on the action. So we're just kind of messing around trying to catch some tunas, or trying to catch some kudas, and the Bahamians absolutely love them. They have a bunch of good recipes for them, so we're going to donate to them at the dock. Uh, what the planer does is just gives us another water column that we're fishing, so it's down to like 20, 30 feet, just down there at another water level, and we're covering the surface with our flat line. So we're trying to give ourselves a little better chance of hooking up to more fish. And as you can see this morning, it's only been about 30 minutes. Kudas are also known as Bahamian kingfish because the locals absolutely love them. And I'm going to do a catch and cook with one one day, but not on this trip. And all we're doing is we're trolling that little pink spoon and that thing just slays because it's just wobbling in the water down there and that planer gets it way down deep. You're 50, 30 feet down depending on your planer and they just think it's a bait fish just swimming through the middle of the water. Very nice. Beautiful zero. Yeah. Person does when they reel in fishing poles. I'm trying! I honestly don't know how I even hit that.
Did you see what he did? Yeah. I honestly thought he was a good You guys had fun? That huh? Oh, I had a CUDA almost eat my face. I was, I would normally never do this. We only shoot CUDAs unless we're going to use them for bait or unless we would give it to the locals to eat. I was going down and I think I saw a hog or something and I look over in the corner of my eye and this CUDA is beelining straight towards my face and I kind of freaked out because you know they have been known to attack people very unlikely but I don't want to get a bunch of cuda teeth in my face or my gloves or my skin or anything for that matter so I shot him and we were gonna uh, we were gonna harvest them and bring him to the locals but he got away he just kind of slithered off but I went full penetration but that tip that ice pick tip didn't catch through in his skin so unfortunately we lost him but I was not taking any chances with that guy. That guy asked for it. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, he was definitely asking for it. If you have those gnarly set of teeth coming at you at like freaking Mach 5, I wouldn't take any chances. Alright guys, so I didn't do an outro, so here goes nothing. Now the clip you guys are seeing again, I know it's being repetitive, but I just wanted to clarify the reason that I did shoot this CUDA is number one, it is completely legal to, and I was going to give it to a Bahamian. We weren't looking to shoot any, but this guy was asking for it. He was definitely provoking Brooke and I, you know, kind of stalking us going in and out, and then he finally went in for the kill. And uh, it's really cool to see how these fish, they're smart, you know, they're looking for a meal. As soon as you shoot a hogfish or anything, you can sure as hell bet that a barracuda will be in the area within seconds of you shooting it. Now, all the barracudas that we did kill while planar fishing, we did give away to the locals. They really appreciate it. And it is not like the regulations like we have here in Florida. They are not regulated in the Bahamas. And uh, yeah, so we had a great dive, saw a lot of life. The amount of line fish in the Bahamas is incredible. Lobster, everything. It was just a really good time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and look forward to that day four video coming very soon.